past three years, we've been working as a group, as a family actually, really good. We've changed in a way, like we've gotten more mature and we've gotten closer with each other from when we first met. It's been really nice. I've learned so many stuff and we started book one. we made a spiritual contract which is basically just qualities that we'd like to practice during our time here. The importance of cleanliness, understanding when we get tired, teamwork, sharing, resilience because 12 days can be difficult but it can also be a really beautiful time. We learnt that prayer is a way to converse with God and talk to Him. It makes you feel better after saying a prayer. Mm. use it in my everyday life and communicate with God when I need something or to guide me. Yeah, devotions is a good time because it's like everything stops, everyone stops what they're doing and we go to the one room which we call the family consultation room. <coughs> we all sit down, <coughs> uh, Kimmy usually plays a song before and then we get some prayers off the prayer ladder and everyone says a prayer and it feels good. One of my favourite quotes was, beseech and aid me under all times and under all conditions. I just learned that uh, backbiting hurts three souls. Yours, the person you're backbiting, and the person that's listening. If you do bad things, then your soul won't be pure. Backbiting, like, you should always imagine Bahá'u'lláh with you and, like, that will, like, stop you, prevent you from actually doing bad stuff or, like, saying bad stuff because you're imagining Bahá'u'lláh and he was one of the manifestations that told you that it's bad and how backbiting prevents unity. Like, because it, like, if, even if just one person backbites to another, it spreads on to everyone and then unity is ununity. We discuss life and death. That was my favourite topic in book one because everyone dies eventually, mm. and then like you get to learn like what happens after and like how the soul lives on forever. One was about the death and the human soul, like how when we die, the souls is like, there's no such thing as hell. It's just like um, the um, difference between you from God. Like if you have bad deeds and stuff, you go further away from God than someone who has a pure heart and love and kind and stuff. So it's closer to God. So there's an analogy about how like the baby in the womb, it grows legs and arms and eyes and nose and ears that he doesn't really need in that womb. But he doesn't know that. It's only in this small world. But when it comes out, it realises that it does need these limbs. All the teachings of Baha'u'llah are there to help us, not to restrict us. They give us freedom even. So these teachings are there to help us for the next world. <laughs> This week we've been doing book two, and book two is really good. And we've been like learning about Baha'u'llah's life. Baha'u'llah is a manifest who came down to this earth. He was born in on November 12, 1817. Taught us the ways of God. The re most recent manifestation of God, and he has taught us about unity and the importance of unity. Like, um, Jesus Christ said, love thy neighbour. And then Muhammad said, love thy country. And then Baha'u'llah have said, love the whole world. And as our goal is to try to make Balajur as one, it's going to be like really good.
because we're all from different places around the world. And one of the quotes when we went to the field, I wrote, I uh, said to one of the mums, it's unity. How like unity is one of the most important things. Oh. Like that's why it's good. It doesn't matter what country you are, what race you are, what color, doesn't matter. You just become as one. You know, you know, they will be together and they will be powerful people. Yeah. They will be educated, you know. Yeah. Because they will encourage, you know, one, one another, you know. If this one, the character was not good, through his brother we learn. Mixing with other cultures that he probably would never have really mixed with before. Um, yeah, making friends and yeah, it's been good for him. It just teaches yeah. them that to be good people. We've gone to the field and visited family members and explained to them about the books and what we've been learning at the camp. My mum cried. She was so proud of me. Today we might probably go see my family. We'll probably share a couple of prayers, see what they mean. Uh, also share about Bahala's life and the covenant. Today when we went to the field, we get lucky in one hour. They say, come, come back again. We get a couple of kids. And the conversation kept going and his mum got interested. She kept asking questions and it kept going on for like 30 minutes or so. And it was really, really interesting. Yeah, teaching was fun. It was uh, good to teach. It was a uh, learning experience. You learn more when you teach people. more responsible and he like he, he makes decisions although he always checks with me he always knows how to make decisions for himself yeah I think he's changed yeah but I don't think he thinks he has but I think he's probably taken a lot from it that he doesn't realize he has now I saw like Fidel he have a change in his life he have a progress you know it's not Fidel like before but since he started this program I saw a big change for him and I'm very, very interesting for this group to go further. When we start our children classes, hopefully in the future we'll still be together and help each other out with the children classes and if we do have camps, help each other out with the camps and then even like organise stuff together like community services and things like that, service projects and then if anyone needs help, people can help each other out. I want to start a, my own class, do what you guys are doing, like run my own camps, change people how they are and make the next generation better. Probably do like a couple of children's classes, probably be an animator as well. Um, follow the path of God as in this quote and spread the word of God as well. Uh, you just have a good time and you get closer to some people you might already know but if you don't know anyone it's a good opportunity to meet new people as well. So I think a lot of people should come yeah start to teach them about the word of God, the love of God, the peace of God. And we have a good community. God bless you. God bless you and go further.